Hi, I'm Bridget, Activities Coordinator on a Male Acute Ward in Tower Hamlet Centre for Mental Health, Mylin Hospital. I want to talk to you about a QI project that is currently happening in the Tower Hamlets Directorate about engagement and observation. The aim of the project is to improve and sustain the practices that enhance safety on our wards in Mylin Hospital and beyond. As a Directorate of Nurses, support workers, occupational therapists and activity coordinators. We're working together to develop solutions using our joint expertise as the colleagues responsible for carrying out this important safety and therapeutic engagement. We also have on board a team of service users, both outpatient and inpatient, who are providing us with vital feedback and suggestions to help shape the future of how engagement and observations are developed and embedded. So far, we've attended two of many workshops as we begin to develop practical ideas on how we can improve engagement and observations across our directorate. So a few themes came to light when hearing from service users and staff during the workshops and during weekly meetings with uh, service users on the ward um, about our current practices around observations and engagement. Um, patients said, that they're not always informed about observations and the purpose of it. Um, service users commented that during checks, staff do not always knock on the bedroom door. The window panel is just open to observe them and they feel that there's a lack of therapeutic engagement. And the service user felt that the current process can be quite invasive, stripping them of their privacy, almost like being spied on. Um, it, it also feels humiliating and our service users felt that observation should be explained on an induction um, and by informing a new admission it would help to build trust. Service users felt that staff introducing themselves, informing them who their allocated nurses for the day, listening and even engaging in normal conversation would make them feel confident uh, to approach staff and open up. Um, staff commented that some barriers that prevent them from engaging therapeutically um, included time constraints, workload, and sometimes the fear that interacting can make a situation worse. So observations is essential for keeping service users and staff safe and to ensure mental and physical well-being of our service users. Therapeutic engagement between staff and service user is an important part of a service user's recovery and essential for helping support service user's needs and for staff to provide individual care by getting to know the service user and what works. So here are some of the changes we're going to start testing on our ward. We'd like to improve the induction process and we're working on a welcome sheet which will be given to patients during their admission induction, outlining important information which service users reported that they'd like to know more about on their admission, including observations and its purpose, who their consultant is, and some more useful information such as routines of the ward, such as meal times and medication times. We're also reviewing the welcome pack which contains further information about what to expect on the ward, and other helpful information, and we aim to make it more user-friendly. Making patients feel safe during observations is also very important, and we're reviewing the observation sheet used during observations to add prompts that will encourage staff behaviours to change, to be more therapeutic and less intrusive, and for observations to be more purposeful rather than a tick box exercise. We're also looking to change the name of the observations as we feel the name observations itself is not the best term to use. We need to promote that it's part of therapeutic care. We hope you follow our progress as we work on this important project and thank you for listening.